stifling. It's not. It's really not. It's beautiful today. It's like Cali weather. It's like, yeah, it's like 80s today. Which reminds me, you guys, we we have narrowed down. We're definitely looking at like the Marietta Temecula areas. So thank you for all the help everybody gave us and thank you for all the other suggestions because I literally checked out every town that somebody suggested. Literally, like looked up did and tried to find Did you places. even look up those like places where people were like, there's like nobody here except gangs and like buggy horses, yes. horse buggies and well, stuff? Well, I looked up like, um, you know, like the California demographics. You can check poverty rate, crime rates, um, you know, like that kind of stuff, schools. just to make sure. Yeah, schools. Y'all got all freaked babies. out when we were talking about schools. We're like, you're having a baby. No, it's like, no. It's, you guys, if you live in a place with a good school, like it's like a safe area usually, because cops are all over schools, man. Yeah, man. Gotta watch over over them children. Yeah. So, and if we're home all the time, we might as well have a safe place, I guess, right? Yeah. Anyway, so there's a few choices. The only thing is, is those two areas are kind of. A little, little more expensive, so we'll probably have to settle for like a town home, which is, I mean, that's not even settling, that's like amazing. Yeah. So we'll do that, and if we decide to branch out or like move out a little bit, um, there, I mean, there are homes available, but you do risk like higher poverty rates and a little bit higher crime. So that's that. That's that's where we're at. So now I just have to wait. We booked a flight. We're going to California the end of August. Look at I see. To look at places, my phone dropped. Man, good stuff though, huh? We're gonna go see my Padres. That'll be fun. Yeah. So apparently, we're, we're, we're gonna go see my parents in LA uh, in near the end of August. And then we're gonna go move my sister into college in September. In September. So we're gonna have all kinds of family fun. And Actually, then we no, might they even... got their own apartment. So we'll, we'll be like hanging out at their new apartment. Yeah, and then we might even like just be moving to California in September, right? Is that what we're thinking? By the end, yeah. That's great. So That's crazy. we might just like, I don't know, we'll just like pack our stuff and just go. We're just going. Yeah. Speaking of crazy, I've been, I've been reading up on uh, how that pre-workout craze had like uh, some stuff that's real close to amphetamines in it. And I remember you guys talking to me in the comments and I was like, you guys were like, dude, try out Craze, it's awesome. And I'm like, I, just, I, thought, I thought they had some weird stuff in it. Like I thought Rob Riches got in trouble for, for that. And now I've heard different things about Rob Riches because a lot of like the, the sort of like uh, the fitness community on YouTube wants to jump on him and tell him that he's taking steroids. And they're like all like, aha, I knew it. You were taking steroids this whole time. You can't be in that group. the whole time. And so I don't know if he's actually taking steroids and just blaming Craze on his failed drug test, or he actually failed the drug test due to uh, those sort of amphetamine-like products that were in Craze but not listed. So y'all got to be careful about what you're buying, and that's one of the things that I like about Cellucor is that uh, you're getting what you pay for in terms of like you know the quality of product. But I also I don't think they're going to be trying to put any sort of weird shit in your pre-workout. No plus. Yeah, this guy's getting weird too. Well, I'm watching you, sir. But yeah, I mean, like, a lot of you guys have been <laughs> talking about how good Craze is, so. I don't know, if you guys are cool with amphetamines in your pre-workout, go for it, but uh, if you guys are looking to make the switch, just a, just a pleasant reminder that uh, Cellucor is making good products. I'm, today, I'm, get, I'm getting a little wild today. I'm using uh, one scoop N0, one scoop of C4. I love that C4, creatine. baby. Yes, ma'am. So, I think you had mentioned in a vlog. <laughs> And he was like, stop talking about this. No, I'm excited. I think you had mentioned in a vlog that if you had five more referrals, oh. you would have 30, which meant that Cellucor was going to give away five tubs of their C4 to people. Like those little freaking tubs, 30 servings or whatever, right? Oh, yeah. Guess what? <laughs> you did it! Yeah, it was like, if we you get five, did it. They, they, they call me, they're like, hey, if you get, you're doing great. If you get five more referrals, we can get you five things to give away. And I was like, five more? Ha! Ha! You obviously don't know my community. The Bejra's right? army. You know, you're un perhaps you're unfamiliar with the Bejra's army, good sir. You can go ahead and just send them my way right now. But no, we are gonna be able to give away yeah, five more canisters of C4. So way to go, guys. You're, you're really blowing them away. They're super proud and uh, super happy to be working with such an amazing community. 
Can you see this this car's tires? He, yeah, he's really low. Do you? Uh, can I show? Oh, it's got a license plate number. Yeah, I, I don't know license plate. No, it looks like his tires are like. Well, he's he's um, slanted. You know how they are. They low rider cars. Oh, it's that what probably it is? just yeah. I've never seen that Their before. suspension is super low, and they oh. think it's really cool, and it makes them faster because it's more aerodynamic. Interesting. I didn't know that, but regardless, uh, yeah. So we're gonna be able to give away five little canisters of C4 to you guys. A little C4 pre-workout. It's like a standard pre-workout. It's really good stuff. A little bit of creatine in there, a little bit of caffeine, a lot of good stuff to help you, you know, stay focused during your workout. Plus, people, some people just drink it like an energy drink, so and it'll 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 taste better and uh, be better for you than just energy drinks in general because it doesn't have any sugar and shit in it. So, hey, if even if you guys don't really, you know, feel like going to the gym, if you want to just sip on some C4 while doing your gaming, you can do that too. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna be able to give away five of those things, so have to figure it out. Probably give away some of them on stream. Probably give away some of them on the videos. I think definitely on the videos because yeah. you guys right here Hell yeah. are pretty awesome. Hell yeah. So that was good. But yeah, I don't I got I kinda got on a sidetrack about that crazy thing. I know. But whatever. That was kinda, right. that, that was he kinda was, weird. He was really interested in that. I was like sitting there and I was like, what was I doing? I was probably taking pictures of Lily in boxes, because that's what I do. I'm like, a cat's in a box, it's adorable. And he's like <laughs> Did you hear about the craze thing? And I was like, what? Well, because I've been keeping up with it. I watch Rob Riches on YouTube a lot because he's like a, you know, he's a natural, I think he's a, na I, would, I wouldn't say he's a natural bodybuilder, but I think he competes in the, the, the physique stuff. But regardless, he's a, he's a seemed like a cool guy. And, uh, you know, regardless, um, it kind of sucks that that happened to him. But, you know, and I also remember the Hodge twins and Furious Pete talking about craze. And now it comes out as it's got something weird in it. So definitely, you know, be careful about what you guys buy because you don't want to get yourself messed up trying to, you, you know, use a, you use a supplement trying to better yourself and it actually ends up hurting you. So you got to be careful. But Southercore is a brand you can trust. Just putting that out there. I don't want to sound like I'm too, like, trying. I don't know. People have been talking to me about, uh, I've, I've seen just, like, a few comments talking about the sellout thing. And this happens anytime you ever get any new sponsor or anything like that they're like man you've changed you talk about all you ever do now is talk about cellular core he talks about it a lot and i've even told him that we haven't even been with them for a week i'm pumped as shit about it i'm so excited i've been using cellular core products for like five years now i get the chance to work with them and get you guys a discount on the products that have helped me throughout my you know fitness journey of course i'm going to talk about it of course i'm pumped put yourself in my shoes man you'd be jazzed up I'd be very excited so I, I, I talk about them because I want to, not because they're paying me to talk about them or say nice things in the video. Well, think about it like WoW. You're excited, you play WoW, you have a whole channel that you started Hell that yeah. was about WoW. Mm -hmm. Where are those people who are like, all you do is talk about WoW. All you do <laughs> is play video games. Can you please go to the gym some more? <laughs> please. But no, it's, it's just funny, but yeah. No, he talks about it a lot, but he's excited, and it's it's new and exciting, and then it's something we just, I love, we'll so just I keep going, you. just yep. keep moving on, and keep doing bigger and better things because so, because it's fun. That's the plan. Yeah. So, what are you doing at the gym today? You've been sore. Oh my gosh, you guys! I did the worst workout in the entire yeah, world. The best workout in the entire well, world. Well, so I was like, leg day. Yes. I'm gonna do squats, and I'm gonna do. 35s on each side this time because you know I'm like Smoke? I'm like super buff. I was doing my deadlifts that day. I think Jenny was getting pumped up. So I did squats with 35s on each side, and then I was like, hell yeah! So I'm like, I'm gonna deadlift, and I'm gonna deadlift 100 pounds yeah. over and over. Yeah. And I did six sets on both things. So I did like six sets Burn. of eight on deadlift, six sets of eight on squats, and then I was doing the little hip abductors and, and adductors, those abductors, things will tear whatever. You up. So I did those, both of those, and then I was like, I'll just run on the elliptical for a while. Why not? Dang. And then the next day, I died. My Jenny. legs fell off. Jenny plus. My back broke. It was awful. <laughs> she was I was basically like just just like army crawling around the entire house. Oh god. It was really bad. I mean like, you're like that zombie in the, in the first episode of Walking Dead. Basically, I just my lower half was gone. You're like ah. just for real. It was so bad. It was so sore. I'm still really sore today actually. I could not sleep well. Like that's how sore I was. I would try to roll over and I would wake myself up with pain. 
That's how sore I was. Maybe it's because you weren't taking enough of those, uh, those that recovery matrix. We've only been taking like, oh. only, we've only been taking like one of them after workouts. I have take, issues like, taking like large quantity of pills, so yeah. it freaks me out. Yeah, we should maybe we should investigate that recovery matrix more. I don't know. I just ate like I ate two bananas that day too because I knew I'd be sore. I ate two bananas. I don't I know what's going on. Potassium Central. That potassium City. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes when you work hard, your muscles get sore. You've been you've been going ham on the leg days, and that's that's what counts, man. Leg day, leg day is the the core of your fitness goals. No matter what your fitness question is, the answer to it is squats. Like, all right, I want to get I want to get stronger. I want to get bigger and stronger. What do I do? Squats. All right, I want to lose weight and trim down. I don't want to get too big. I'm not trying to be, you know, a bodybuilder here. <laughs> what, what do I? Front of me what do I? I <laughs> what do I do? Squats. <laughs> I want to get big old biceps. What do I do? Squats. I'm okay. I'm 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 17 years old and I have never been able to gain weight. What should I do? Squats. Just eat and squat and you'll grow. Like just or eat and squat and you'll lose. It doesn't matter. Just do do leg day and do learn how to squat properly and do good squats and no matter what you're trying to do the answer to your question is squats and I'm gonna do me some squats tomorrow but today squats today I, I, was, I was saying that word so much starts to starts to lose its meaning mm -hmm. has that ever happened to you mm -hmm. except squats never lose their meaning it like just becomes you know like if you say a word so many times it just becomes like a ramble of something like you you almost disassociate it with like its meaning only thing I squats. said squats just just associated with games <laughs> um, but today I'm gonna do my for real arms and shoulders workout. Yesterday I did my little dinky, just stretch it out, get some blood flowing while watching Netflix workout, the home workout. And oh, I just army crawled around. That's what and I just did. just army crawled around and I was like, hey, watch out zombie girl. <laughs> 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 and uh, so I'm gonna do some arms and shoulders today. Give my, give my legs and the rest of my body a little bit of chance to recover because we've been working super hard. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym, mess around with some arms and shoulders and then do some squats tomorrow. I think we should title this vlog, Squats. Squats. <laughs> do a little job like, squats, 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 squats. Wouldn't that be dope? <laughs> just make like a like a remix video. We should do that. We should do like a like a like you know how, you know how we did the nope video yeah. and it got like twenty thousand views. I'll just have you squatting and just do squats, 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 we should copyright that so nobody can steal it before Whatever. You, tomorrow. Everybody do it right now. Everybody's gonna make a squats video right now. It'll be the new Harlem Shake. Squat. That'd be awesome. That'd be way better than the Harlem Shake. That'd be way better than can fucking. Can we do that? Fucking twerking. Oh my god. Actually, you get can, booty. Hey, if you want, if you want to have a more hardcore twerk, what's the, what's the answer to your fitness squat, twerking question? Squat. 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 squat, 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 squat. <laughs> All right, as you guys can tell, I think we're at the gym. As you guys may have noticed, our pre-workout is flowing. <laughs> we're ready to poen. Poen. And uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. We can't film. Well, we we potentially could film at this gym, but it's a lot more busy, and I just don't feel like getting in other people's business. So we're gonna get a little bit of workout in. Is this a non-handicapped spot? No. Owned. Dang. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna get a little bit of a workout in, and we will see you guys ah! when we get out. Okay? Thanks okay. for watching, dudes. Peace! Peace!